sounds crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say that every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? Well, that I can tell you in one simple word. Tradition! <laughs> Because of our traditions, we've kept our balance for many, many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, and even how we wear our clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask, how did this tradition get started? Well, I'll tell you. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a tradition. And because of our traditions, every one of us knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Who day and night must scramble for a living, feed his wife and children, say his prayers. And who has the right as master of the house to have the final word at home? Tradition. Who must know the way to make a proper home? A quiet home, a kosher home. Then who must raise the family and run the home? So Papa's free to read the holy book at home. That's <laughs> just the mamas. <laughs> At three I started Hebrew school, at ten I learned a trade. I hear they picked a bride for me. We've always had our special types. For instance, Yenta, the matchmaker. Abram, I found the perfect match for your son, a wonderful girl. Well, who is it? Rockle, the shoemaker's daughter. Rockle? But she can hardly see. She's almost blind. Abram, tell you the truth, is your son so much to look at? <laughs> With the way he sees and the way she sees, it's a perfect match. <laughs> Alms for the poor. Uh, alms for the poor. Ah, here, Rev Nakum is one kopeck. <laughs> one kopeck? <laughs> Last week you gave me two kopecks. <laughs> I had a bad week. So if you had a bad week, why should I suffer? <laughs> and our most beloved rabbi. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Uh, certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar, of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar. Far away from us. <laughs> we always get along perfectly well. Of course, there was the one time when he sold him a horse but delivered a mule. But that's all settled now. Now we live in simple peace and harmony. It was a horse. Oh, no. Here they go. It was a horse. No, 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 no. It was a horse. Horse. Mule.
That's our tradition. 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 That's just the way it is. <laughs> For without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as... as a fiddler on the 